What's up, Supreme Team, and welcome to the channel. You guys, I have an update on the custody hearing that Melody and Martel had earlier today, and this is um, not in Martel's favor. So uh, Martel has his back up against the wall. He is basically being asked to do everything that he was um, ordered to do back in 2022 or, or risk his visitation with his children. And I'm going to share with you guys all about it, okay? Before we get started, though, you know what to do. Make sure you share the video, please and thank you, and also hit the like button because that is how others find me right here on YouTube. I am Diana Rose, and I bring a unique commentary to your favorite reality TV shows and whatever is popping on social media. If you are not a subscriber, please become one. Hit that notification bell too, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I go by Diana Rose on all platforms, and I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me. All right, Buttercups, okay. Um, let me put this banner up here. This is for legal purposes, okay? This discussion is about current events, reality TV, pop culture, and it's for entertainment purposes only, okay? All comments are opinion and alleged, all right? Make sure you familiarize yourself with the guidelines in the chat before making a comment, and we are going to get to it, okay? This is a serious issue. Um, Melody and Martel actually had court earlier this week on the 18th where they were basically discussing Martel's failure to comply with court orders, um, going to counseling with his children, going to counseling for himself, individual, individual therapy, and also the psych evaluation, all things that was ordered back in 2022. And then Melody, Melody decided to uh, blow the whistle, okay? Uh, in July of 2023 and say, listen, I can't do this anymore. Um, and why hasn't the courts forced him to comply? So this is what I will be discussing. And this is being read um, from an article on Urban Bail Child. They got this exclusive. So I'm going to share with you guys um, some court document information as well. Just read the story. Some of you have heard these stories before. Uh, some of the background information, I'm not getting into explicit detail because it's been out there. I'm literally catching you up on some things and telling what happened on or in the courtroom on Thursday with Martel, okay? And why he is probably real, real quiet right now. So uh, yeah, check this out. It says an Alabama court feels Martel Holt blatantly disregarded court orders on counseling and punishment. And that is corporal punishment. He was still doing it according to the allegations and according to the court because they agreed. But they said that uh, Martel Hall and Melody were in court this week for a hearing in their ongoing custody dispute. The hearing pertained to Melody and her attorney who filed an emergency motion. The emergency motion is to enforce previous orders that Martel undergo psychological evaluations and counseling with their minor son. Melody originally filed a grievance against Martel back in July of 2023, accusing Martel of using corporal punishment against their children. This included allegations of punching and choking their son. These allegations left sour feelings amongst Love Mayor Tunsville fans. The judge over the case issued an order that seems to be scathing, rebuking Martel's behavior. Um, and it appears that Martel had an apparent blatant disregard for the court's orders. So the court document uh, declared that back on March 9th, 2022, that Martel get involved with counseling with their minor son. And per the previous decrees, um, one issued back in September of 22, it, forbid, it forbids Martel from using corporal punishment. Per the order, the court declared that Martel failed to seek psychological evaluation, and it took up an emergency order for Martel to comply almost two years later. So he, there was a lot of time given for Martel to get it together, basically. Um, the court felt convinced that Martel blatantly ignored the order and used corporal punishment against their children. The counselor 
declared an expert by the court, found that Martel disregarded the orders of counseling and that their children reported emotional backlash because of it, you guys. As a result, the court's declarations, Martel is now at serious risk of losing visitation rights of his children, and he has also been ordered to comply with the original order of weekly counseling immediately and participate in a twice a month family counseling with their children. Failure to comply with this order will result in his losing visitation rights, okay? And that's not all, child. There's more. Martel must also pay Melody Cherie $7,000 towards her legal fees, and he must also schedule his remaining visitations for his psychological evaluation. And the next court case to make sure that all of this took place is in October 16th of 2024. And when I tell you that that is going to uh, move like a, like a rocket. Okay. When people are, are put like put, I want to say, you know what I want to say <laughs> when they're slow poking around, I was about to say something else, but when people are slow poking around and not doing what they wanted, what they were ordered to do, he's been hesitant for the last two years. The idea that he's going to, you know, get it in gear now is something different. So, uh, let me read to you guys exactly what was written in the court order. So, um, this is just going to be kind of I'm going to give you a summary um, of what the court previously ordered and what the court actually, so previously ordered in 2022, 2023, and then what the court is enforcing as of earlier this week, okay? And just so you know, the plaintiff is Melody, the defendant is Martel, and it was Melody who filed the emergency order. So it reads... Excuse me. This cause comes before the court on an emergency motion to enforce a psychological evaluation of the defendant per court order, counseling with the minor son and motion to show cause. And the plaintiff, Melody, was present with her counsel of record. The defendant, Martel, was present pro se. So he represented himself in this case. Um, I believe that he had lost his early, his, his lawyer about a couple of weeks ago, he lost his lawyer. So he was there in front of the court by himself and probably asked for a continuance of some kind, uh, so that he can get representation. And it looks like the court said, no, uh, we're not doing that. We will continue right now. Okay. So good for the court for, um, seeing through that smoke and rip, uh, mirror. Okay. Smoke and mirrors, uh, banana in the tailpipe. We all know what that was, but he was there representing himself and the guardian at litem was also present upon consideration of the testimony presented court makes the following findings. Okay. So this is what was previously ordered and then we're going to get to what was what is being asked or enforced as of right now. So uh, this has been numbered one through, make sure I get this, one through 11. Okay, guys, so I'm going to read this to you because I know you don't want to miss a word. Number one, pursuant to the court's order entered in March of 2022, the defendant slash father, Martel LeVar Holt, shall get involved with counseling and participate with the son with his present counselor until further order of the court. So back in March of 2022, he was ordered to do that. Number two, pursuant to this court's order entered in September of 2022, there shall be no corporal punishment administered to the children. For the father's edification, corporal punishment shall include spanking, slapping, pinching, pulling, twisting, hitting with an object, forcing the child to consume any unpleasant substance, such as soap or hot sauce, etc. So it says for the father's edification, which means Martel asked for a damn example. Okay. So um, yeah, the court said that in September of 2022. Additionally, 
the court light order entered on March 7th, 2022, uh, the court light order entered on March 7th, 2022. The father was to also get involved with counseling and participate with the son with his present counselor until further order of the court. To date, the father hasn't started counseling. That was back in March, 2022. And as of today, the father hasn't started counseling. Hmm. And has only reached out to the counselor to schedule a meeting within the past few weeks, waiting until four months to act on the court's order. Therefore, the father shall begin counseling no later than September of 2022 and comply with the counselor's recommendations. Okay, so he was basically non-compliant back then. So in March of 2022, when he was initially ordered, he was non-compliant. When they went back to court, the judge said, you are still non-compliant and you need to get this schedule and we'll give you no later than September of 2022 to do that. So that is what that is saying. Whew, number three, pursuant to the court's order enter on, entered on September 2022, for the father's edification, the court's previous order regarding the father participating in counseling with his son so that the counselor can observe interaction between the father and son and the father shall comply with the recommendations of the counselor. Number four, pursuant to the court's order entered on February 2023, both parents and the minor children shall continue therapy with Dominique, and I'm only saying her name because she was actually on Love and Mare Tunsville. She sat individually with both Melody and Martel on two different seasons, okay? With Melody, I remember her talking about the stress of going back into the friendship group, and I think she also said something like, the nice Melody is out the door. She's going to start calling a thing a thing. And with Martel, he talked about his relationship with his mother. And he said some stuff about um, his mother, his relationship with his mother is transactional because he was upset that he was late getting to the counselor's appointment and said that his mother, or he thanked her for having a very late session and his mother refused to babysit. That's what That was what that was about. So if you guys remember those episodes, that is the Dominique, okay? Um, otherwise, I will not say the doctor's names. <clears throat> Number five, pursuant the court's order entered on December of 2023, the defendant Mar Martel LeVar Holt shall make himself available for psychological evaluation and shall contact doctor within 15 days of entry of this order. Now that was back in December of 2023. He had 15 days to contact the doctor. The doctor was named. He was given the person. Okay. He didn't have to find nobody. And um, yeah, we are in June of 2024 right now. Number six, it says, after the plaintiff, Melody, filed a motion to compel and pursuant to the court's order back in May of, of May of 2024, the defendant, Martel, shall contact the doctor no later than five days after the order and provide written notification to the court with the day and time of his evaluation and shall no later than 30 days of entry report back on the order. Okay. So that's interesting. So after Melody filed to compel the court to, uh, you know, make Martel do this evaluation, that was on May of 2024. Martel was supposed to contact the doctor for a psych eval no later than five days after being this order went out. And he was supposed to provide written notification to the court with the date and time of his evaluation, which shall occur no later than 30 days of the entry. Okay. Number seven, the father has only participated in counseling on three occasions in 2022. And then they gave the dates. So in 2022, he went to counseling in November and twice in December. 
Then it says, the father has only participated in counseling on four occasions in 2023. And then they give the dates, January, February, and March, and May of 2023. So on four occasions, January, February, March, and May of 2023. Then it says the father has only participated in counseling on two occasions in 2024. And then it specifies January and April of 2024. Number eight, regarding the psychological evaluation, the father did not contact the doctor until after the plaintiff, Melody, filed a motion compelling to secure the father's compliance. So that was in 2024. We talked about that, May 2024. He contacted the doctor. He went to one session in May, and he has yet to schedule the remaining two sessions. So he was forced to do it. He did one session and then abandoned the other two. Number nine, in as much as the father believes that his acts of discipline are not corporal punishment, the court is convinced that the father has used corporal punishment on his minor children, despite the court's adamation against it. Am I pronouncing that right? Admonition, admonition against it. Okay. So basically the court told him not to do it. He still did it. Okay. And then it also says that the father believes that his acts of discipline are not corporal punishment. Okay, number 10. The counselor, Dominique, um, who is a licensed psych psychotherapist and was qualified without objection as an expert, testified that her recommendation has been and continues to be that the father participate in counseling with more fre frequency. However, the father only wants to participate on an ad needed basis. The counselor has requested additional sessions with the father who in short fails to comply with said request. The father recommends weekly, or excuse me, the counselor rec recommends weekly individual counseling with the father in addition to family sessions. Of note, during the five month period that the father did not participate in counseling, the counselor noticed that the children reported emotional backlash, which is sad. Okay. Whew. So um, when Martel was in counseling, the children seemed to be more steady. And when Martel was not following the court orders, the children were experiencing emotional backlash. And number 11, this is the final one for that part. Despite repeated efforts by the court to secure the father's compliance with court orders, the father still flagrantly and willfully disobey this court's order. Therefore, upon consideration of the same, it is therefore ordered and adjudged and decreed as follows. And then there is five things that the judge ordered. Okay. Number one, the emergency motion to enforce psychological evaluation of Martel per court order counseling with the minor son and motion to showcase is hereby granted in part. That's A. B, the father shall be shall pay the mother the sum of $7,000 toward the mother's attorney fees that have been expended by the mother in order to secure the father's compliance with the court's orders. The court find that the attorney fees are fair and reasonable and the judgment is entered in favor of the mother and against the father in the amount of $7,000 for which execution shall issue. C, the father shall immediately comply with the counselor's recommendation of weekly individual counseling and twice monthly family counseling. The father's failure to comply shall result with the father's visitation with the minor children being suspended until the father complies with court orders. So let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. If the father does not immediately comply with the counselor's recommendation of weekly individual counseling and then twice monthly family counseling, which I believe would include the children and even Melody because the initial orders, uh, she was a part of that counseling. 
uh, than the father's failure to comply. Okay. His failure to comply with this order shall result in the father's visitation with the minor children being suspended until he does comply with all of the court's orders. That is what's being said in part C. Part D, the father shall immediately schedule his two remaining appointments with, for that psychological examination. And part E says all other requested relief is reserved for the final hearing. So anything else that was asked for by the plaintiff, Melody, is being reserved until the final hearing that is currently set for October. <clears throat> Excuse me, currently set for October. Okay. And it, this was done on June 18th, 2024. All right. That is a doozy, child. Y'all can let me know what y'all think in those doggone comments. Okay. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. I um, am not, there's nothing happy about this. I just want to say I'm not celebrating in any way. I think it's unfortunate. Of course, the kids are hurting the most from this, clearly. Um, Melody is keeping them in therapy and um, they have been able to report to the counselor, you know, what's going on when they are with Martel and he is not being compliant with therapy. Um, so yeah, y'all can talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure you make sure you read those guidelines and um, uh, before doing anything, that way everybody is doing what they're supposed to do in my chat. Okay, and what else? That's pretty much it, y'all. Become a Supreme Team member by uh, hitting the subscribe button and your notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, share, please, and thank you. Also hit the like button because that's how others find me here on YouTube. I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me. Okay, and I will see you all on the next one.